Right, hello and welcome to a quick video. I've just taken, you can see this, I've just taken a chain off that bike over there and um, I'm gonna change it and I just wanna show you a couple of things. So this here is a CC 3.2, does that come out? Here we go, yeah, part tool, CC 3.2 and you've got, um, you've got a couple of readings on here. So you've got a 0.5 and a 0.75 and you've got these like hooks on this end. So you have here, you see the 0.5 and the 0.75. So let's start, we're going to start there with the 0.5 side. Put this into one of the links and then we stretch the chain out. And as you can see that will slide in to there. That means that this chain is worn by at least half a percent. So flip it over the other way, so we're looking at the 0.75%. Do the same again. This time, it won't quite fit. That means it's not worn by 0.75%. So I've caught this chain just at the right time. This absolutely needs to be changed right now on, uh, on this bike. The old chain and the new chain right next to each other so that we can see exactly what that half a percent looks like. So if I try my best to keep these as lined up as possible. This end here, as you can see, is are lined up about right. And when I get down to this end, you can see, that's what I'm point with, how much longer this chain looks to this one. So that is the amount that this chain has grown, if you like, when I look at it that way. So that means that this chain being that much longer than this one, is just gonna cause extra stress on the cassette and the chain ring, etc. So, so it needs to be swapped. So also another benefit of laying them out side by side like this, is I don't really need to second guess where I need to cut this chain. So I'm going to be cutting this chain on that link, because that's the link there that I'm gonna to wanna to put my new um, quick links on. So that pin is coming out. So we've got a chain tool, the chain breaking tool, sorry. So this is a CT5 um, from Park Tool. And what this does, you can see here, that pushes through there, put the right way. That's gonna push the pins out. So this one here, oh God, as he's moved it. This one here needs to pop out. Make sure the GoPro's on. So, I don't know if we can see this clear enough. I'm gonna push that link pin right out of there. Go, just your little click it goes through. I just realized I've got the GoPro on the tripod while I'm on this plastic shed, so it's probably a lot of noise, I'm afraid, sorry. You go, just felt that go through. Back out. See the little pin that's come out. So that there is now the spot where I'm gonna put my new quick link string. So, I've got a KMC 11 speed chain, and as you can see, it actually comes with new quick links. So, there's a new quick link, just pop back into place, and a few quick pedals, and that'll just. So, here we go quick pedal and that's stretched into place. So one quick thing, top tip from me, I always buy the longest chain that I can and then you end up with a few extra spare links. So uh, yeah, there you go. If you found that useful, then uh, leave us a comment below, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in another video.